Hey there, health enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that affects us all weight gain while we sleep. It's not just about what you eat or how much you exercise during the day, but also those sneaky habits that might be working against you as you catch those Zs. Stick around because we've got 14 common habits to discuss, and trust me, they might be the culprits behind that unexpected scale jump in the morning. Habits number one. Sodium intake and water retention. Now, let's kick things off with a big one sodium intake. Ever had that day where you indulged in a salty feast and woke up feeling like you gained a few pounds overnight? It's not in your head. Excessive sodium can lead to water retention, and some of us are more sensitive to it than others. The good news? It's usually temporary. Hydrate yourself, and your body will efficiently flush out that excess water. So, the next time you enjoy a salty treat, just remember, it's more like a water weight hiccup than a fat-related catastrophe. Habits number two, constipation and bowel movements. Now, let's tackle another common culprit constipation. Ever notice that feeling of being a bit backed up? Well, it's not just uncomfortable, it can also tip the scales. When waist hangs around longer than it should, it adds some extra weight. The solution? Keep things moving with a healthy dose of fiber, stay hydrated, and don't forget the importance of regular physical activity. Your digestive system will thank you, and that scale will be a lot more forgiving. Habits number three. Intense workouts and muscle inflammation. Switching gears to the fitness front, intense workouts. We all love that post-exercise glow, but did you know it can sometimes come with a temporary weight gain tag? Here's the deal. After those hardcore sessions, especially with compound movements, your muscles experience tiny tears, triggering a natural inflammation process. This inflammation brings in some extra fluids around the muscles, making you puff up a bit. Don't panic if the scale shows a few extra pounds the next day. It's just your body healing and building those muscles. So, after a tough workout, ditch the scale drama and focus on giving your muscles the recovery time they need. Habits number four, water intake and initial weight increase. Now, let's unravel the paradox of water intake and its impact on your weight. It might sound counterintuitive, but here's the scoop drinking more water can actually cause a temporary increase in the numbers on the scale. Why? Because weight isn't just about fat, it encompasses bones, organs, muscles, and fluids. When you up your water intake, your body retains more fluids, leading to a temporary weight bump. But remember, it's not fat. Hydrating is crucial for overall health, and the scale will eventually reflect that, so stay the course. Habit number five, carbohydrate consumption and water weight. Carbs, oh carbs. They're not the enemy, but they can play some tricks on your scale. A sudden increase in carbohydrate intake can lead to water weight gain. Ever notice how people shed weight rapidly on low-carb diets? It's because the body doesn't hold on to that extra water. But here's the catch reintroduce carbs, and that water weight comes back, causing the scale to bounce. It's not a fat gain, just a little water retention game. So don't be alarmed if your scale does a little dance after a carb-loaded day. It's just the carbs holding hands with water for a temporary weight waltz. Habit number six. Weekend weight fluctuations. Now, let's talk about the weekend weight roller coaster. A study caught our attention, shedding light on how our weights tend to play a little dance throughout the week. According to this research, people's weights often hit their lowest on Friday morning, only to climb back up over the weekend, reaching their peak on Monday mornings. Even if you're on a weight loss journey, you might notice this pattern. It's a reminder that weight can be a bit of a seesaw and those weekend indulgences can contribute to that Monday morning peak. So, let's keep our eyes on the long game and not be disheartened by these temporary fluctuations. Habit number seven, late night eating and digestive timing. Now, onto a habit many of us are guilty of late night eating. Ever wonder why that midnight snack seems to linger on the scale the next morning? Well, it's all about timing. When you push dinner back or indulge in a late night treat, you might be seeing the effects on your weight the next day. But here's the key consistency. Weigh yourself at the same digestive stage to get a more accurate picture. Habit number eight, fiber intake and bowel movements. 
let's shift our focus to a powerhouse of health fiber. You've heard it's good for you, and here's why. Fiber does wonders for your overall well-being. But here's a little twist. Increasing your fiber intake can temporarily tip the scale in a different direction. Wondering how? Well, it leads to heavier, bulkier, and more water-laden bowel movements. Now, don't let this spook you. It's not a true weight gain, like packing on fat or muscle. It's just your body adjusting to the fiber boost. So, embrace the fiber for its many health benefits. Habit number nine, menstrual cycle and hormonal changes. Ladies, this one's for you. We need to talk about the menstrual cycle and the hormonal symphony that accompanies it. Before your period, hormonal changes can trigger water retention. It's a common phenomenon, and you might notice a bit of weight gain. But here's the reassurance, it's entirely normal. Your body is just responding to the hormonal shifts. Once your period arrives, those hormones settle down, and so does the water weight. Habit number 10. Intermittent fasting and meal size. Now, let's explore the world of intermittent fasting, a trend that's gained popularity for its many benefits. Intermittent fasting isn't just about weight loss, it offers a range of health perks. However, there's a little nuance to consider. When you start this eating pattern and consume larger meals within a shorter eating window, don't be surprised if the scale does a little jig. It's not a permanent change, it's just your body adjusting to a new rhythm. So, reap the rewards of intermittent fasting, but keep in mind that temporary fluctuations can be part of the process. Habit number 11. Medication side effects. Now, a crucial topic, medications and their potential impact on your weight. Some medications come with side effects, and weight gain or water retention might be one of them. It's not always about consuming more calories. It could be your body's reaction to the medication. Steroids, for example, can lead to water retention, giving the illusion of weight gain. If you've noticed unexpected changes, here's the golden rule consult with your healthcare professional. Habit number 12. Lack of physical activity. Now, let's shine a light on a factor that might be sneaking into many of our lives, a lack of physical activity. When you hit the hay without engaging in regular exercise, your body misses out on a vital opportunity. Overnight, it uses stored energy to repair cells, build new muscles, and replenish itself after the day's activities. But if you've been in hibernation mode, all those excess calories simply become guests, setting up camp as fat, leading to weight gain. Habit number 13. Late night snacks and caloric intake. All right, let's tackle a habit many of us are guilty of late night snacking. We get it. Those midnight cravings are hard to resist. However, it's time to face the facts. Eating late into the night can indeed contribute to weight gain. It's not about an arbitrary, no eating after 6 p. M rule but rather the simple math of calorie intake versus expenditure. If your late night snacks are tipping the balance toward excess calories, you might be setting the stage for weight gain. Habit number 14, poor sleep and metabolic changes. Now, let's dive into the often underestimated factor, poor sleep. It's not just about feeling groggy the next day. Inadequate sleep can mess with your metabolism. Studies have shown a direct link between insufficient sleep and negative changes in metabolism. When you're sleep deprived, your body doesn't operate at its peak, and that includes how it handles calories. Here's the golden rule aim for seven, eight hours of quality sleep each night. Conclusion, all right, we've covered a lot today, 14 habits that might be playing a role in your overnight weight fluctuations. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more health-related content. We're here to support your journey to better health. And, of course, we want to hear from you. Share your experiences, questions, or any tips you have in the comments section below.